Applause. That is the final. Oh, thank you. Dope sauce. Yeah. Appreciate the clap. Way to go, Ron. So now I go. Guys, this is wrong. He's playing Jason Hancock. The winner of that will play Derek Ferranda. I thought you were going to capitalize. I did nothing. Yeah. I had plenty of opportunity. guys I'm back so we're gonna have Ryan Kelly versus Jason Hancock the winner of this will play Derek Miranda the winner of that will play the person in the hot seat which is Dan the man field aka Vince Vaughn well he looks like him I don't know yeah Randy Bob is a legend for sure
tocar para ahí. Oh, Crazy Bob is back on the mic. Here at O'Brien's eight ball tournament, fives and under. Crazy Bob comes in fifth, playing terrible versus Ryan Kelly. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm one out of the money. The winner of this gets $80. Huh? Yeah. All right, that ball, that ball goes to the moon. Looks like he thinks he's got the uh, 16 here. Or, well, I'm not 16. There's no 16 ball. The hell am I talking about? 14, I mean. He gets that ball out to where it needs to be. Just try to open that up a little bit for later in the uh, game. All right, Jason Hancock's taking a little time to uh, check his phone there. Uh, my name is Cynthia Murray, and I'm here with Stephen Horning and uh, Baby Cat Boots Holder. Horning tells Rebo, which I'll leave the phone. Don't call him that. Don't um, tell them how to live their lives. Don't tell them how to live their lives. All right, he's right. taking the uh, three up in the corner for the big breakout. He got, he just rattles the ball and breaks out everything. That would have been a pretty good shot there if he had made it. Still leaves his opponent with a tough back cut. I have no idea what the uh, name of the duet singing is, by the way. She is good, though. That's real. I have unpaid parking tickets. I need new replacements for my blowouts, plus a hair replacement surgery for the follicles that fucking gave out on me. Honestly, if you guys saw my front left tire, you guys would be throwing money in that back bucket right now. I'm surprised I made it over here. All right. The question here is the eight ball. How can he get on the eight ball? You guys do me a favor one time. Make some noise for our lovely host. Yeah, the host for the evening. The voice, the amazing, wonderful, stupendous, skimpy Murphy. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. Make sure you guys stick around. All right, he's got a back cut here for the 11. He might. He gets it. He's got good shape here on the that. That opens up the eight ball for him. What a shot. He's going to get out on this. All right, this match is for, well, maybe this is uh, not the easiest thing in the world, but he can do it. This is Crazy Bob here announcing for the OnQ Broadcast Network. This is probably going to be my second to last tournament announcing. I think I'm going to do the uh, BCA tournament here at the end of the month before I move to Belize. I want to thank everybody who's uh, ever listened and uh, enjoyed the broadcast here at the OnQ Broadcast Network. We have a lot of fun doing them. We have a lot of fun playing in them, even though we come in fifth. One out of the money, the worst place to come in. What a shot. We'd like to thank Ryan Kelly. We'd like to thank Tyler Cordova, Dan Field, and Ronnie Brown for putting this uh, event together. This is not an on-cue event. It's uh, an independent event run by those four. 
and uh, we brought the uh, live streaming there to to the event to uh, ah, kind of make it a little more interesting. I'd like to remind everybody to go ahead and share this with all your friends and family and enemies and everybody. Any acquaintance you've ever met, anybody that uh, you're remotely uh, uh, involved with on a personal level. Looks like he's going to take a straight safety there. It's going to be quite a good safety. I, I don't think he's he's going to have to kick at this and uh, and, and try to hope uh, he either makes it or hooks him a little bit. And where the six and the two are, that's not that likely. Unless he looks like he can thin the t eight ball. I don't think he can from there. It's hard to say. Anyway, this is Crazy Bob after getting his ass kicked back on the uh, mic. Here he comes. This is going to be an attempt to kick like Pele. Can he do it? He makes it in the corner, but he called the side. What a difficult situation that is. That first one goes to Jason Hancock. Well, what an unfortunate turn of events there. He was in trouble. I mean, that's not an uh, unreasonable situation. He makes it in the corner. But he calls it in the side. That's the call. That's going to be like the call of the ages. This is part of the OnQ Broadcast Network, bringing you live events. Live streaming, tournament uh, direction, all around. If you want pool stuff in your area, if you need some help with anything, whether it's running a tournament, whether it's getting your queue repaired, whether it's uh, having a live stream of your great event, on Q Billiards is where to go. Contact Mickey Hammond. Mickey Hammond's online. Or go to the On Q Facebook page or www.onqbilliards.net. You can't go wrong with On Q Billiards. The next level in pool services. Hell, if you need a table covered, if you need someone to help you learn how to shoot, on Q Billiards can take care of that for you. Contact Mickey Hammond, president of On Q Billiards. We've got uh, 85 people watching. If you guys would share it with all your friends and uh, blah, 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 then you'll finally get there. We want to crack the 100 number here. Uh, this match is going to play the uh, – the winner of this match is going to play Derek Ferranda. And then the winner of that match goes on to play Dan Field for the championship. All right. Jason Hancock got the first win, drew first blood. Looks like he's a fairly, a fairly fast shooter. Looks like a field shooter. He's probably going to stun over here towards the 14 ball, make the uh, three in the side, stun on the 14, and leave that for the four ball. At least that's what he'll attempt to do. Well, he didn't quite hit the ball, so he's going to get hooked up behind it. He wanted to stun right into that ball, and he ended up uh, drawing it a little bit, so it came back past it, hits the rail, and then comes back over, leaving him for the kick shot here. Wow, he's taking a tough kick. It looks like a spin kick, if I'm not mistaken. And he's not going to get anywhere close. That's not an easy shot, folks. Over a ball. Spinning all the way across table on a kick. I look. I blew it. It was so terrible. I. No, it's not. <laughs> I could use the money to move to Belize, but hey, I tell you what, I had a great time. I really thank you guys for running this tournament. It's been a great event. I think everybody loved it. Oh, I think so too. I mean, except me. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go, uh, just to let you guys know, they're going to have another event like this, uh, fives and under, silver and bronze, uh, if you're in BCA tournament. And they're going to go ahead and they said they're going to do some flyers and stuff this time. Really get the word out. I'm not sure if they're going to stick to the 32 man, but I think they might. 
Yeah, they might bump it up if they can find a date where it doesn't uh, interfere with anything. So uh, these guys are doing a lot of good work. Try to support good stuff in your pool community. If you support the stuff, people keep doing it, man. It's a great thing. That's what we've done with on cue billiards for the last uh, four years or what have you. Well, at least uh, up until, ah, eh, whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm still flustered by my loss. I'm not going to act like I'm not. <laughs> Hard to believe I played so badly the, twice in a row. I did, I did start to get hot, actually, in this. And my uh, stick was rubbing uh, on my uh, hand and kind of jumping off of it. But there's no excuse for that kind of stuff. Everybody's playing in the same conditions. So I just want to say that I had a really good time here playing today regardless. And uh, let's see if uh, he can get this four here. I think the matchups were pretty good. I didn't see anybody who really ran over the field other than Dan Field. Which his name uh, suggests that, I guess. But. Oh, and, and Ryan dogs a shot. He didn't dog any shots. Oh, I don't know. I had all the chances in the world. What am I talking about? All right, someone come in here and let's get drunk. He's going to draw back off that rail back out for the eight ball. It's kind of a aggressive shot when he could have just drew it back a foot but he's a ball maker i've seen that from uh, his, earlier his matches today he's not afraid of this uh, ball into the corner and it's going to do it he's going to get to two to zip here taking a commanding lead in the second set i mean in the ugh, in this set the kid's getting flustered and old but i still look good baby why don't you guys share this with all your friends and neighbors? Like it. We got uh, 27 shares, 162 comments, and 24 uh, likes or whatevers. What are those called? They're not just uh, likes. They're, they're emotions or something. I don't know. What are those things? We want to see little hearts come across the thing. I mean, you know, I'm going to like it myself. I'm going to put a heart on there just so I can see the little heart float across the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I get to see it. All right. Well, uh, next time I'll say uh, I want to uh, kick it like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Or, uh, I don't know, come up with some other soccer guys. Something Donovan. I don't know. He was like the captain of the American team in the last World Cup. I can't remember. Landon Donovan, is that his name? Ah, who knows. Brandy Chastain. We'll go with the f female soccer players in the next one. Mia Hamm. There we go. January's a hell of a month in the pool scene, Boyer says. Boyer says he watched me uh, miss another uh, four ball out with ball in hand. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I think it was a three ball out, to be honest with you, which makes me sick to my stomach. But I had fun doing it. That's what you get when you don't play for a month. And then you talk smack on Facebook. You got to pay the piper. I'm paying the piper right now. Alan Dixon, get on this thing. Share it. Hey, Jay? We've got Jason Hancock up two to zero at O'Brien Sports Bar and Grill. In a race to four. Ryan needs four. Jason needs two. This is Crazy Bob with the On Cue Broadcast Network. We're going to try. I think we're going to have the. Uh, they're going to announce the. Uh, on cue BCA Pool League uh, mid-season tournament here. I believe it's coming up in late late November or early. I think it's mid to late November. I don't know. Who knows? Next week is the uh, a nine ball open tournament here at O'Brien's. 
I think it's also a 30-man open event, so that's for any skill level. I believe it's filled up, but you can always put yourself on the waiting list. Tim, Tim Howard is a goalie. I can say him. That's another good one. Goalies kick the ball, too, sometimes. <laughs> Hell, they do almost all the goal kicks these days. All right, Ryan Kelly. He's got himself a little bit of trouble on this two ball, and I'm not sure exactly what he's going to do for, for that. There's only one way to find out. Boy, that was confusing, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. I guess that's going to give him the uh, – with top inside, he's going to have uh, an ability to come over at this two ball, see what he does. Instead, he plays for the five ball with angle to try to break it out. I think that's not a bad shot, really. We're going to see what the eight ball does as well in this. He might clip the eight ball a little bit, and that, that might open up. Uh, but he might just miss them all. And he'll leave himself in a rough situation. Let's see what they can do. Oh, that was a called safety is what that was. Ah. If that was a called safety, I'm not sure why he didn't just roll the ball up into the uh, pocket and leave it sit there. Oh, Jason Hancock's going to wish he had that back. I think he can see that. All right, we're up to 91 viewers here on the OnQ Broadcast Network. This is the final four players. Every player left, every match left is going to be on the uh, TV table. Everyone is in the money who's still in this tournament. It doesn't get any better than that. Ryan Kelly's back in the match. All right. Jason Hancock up to rack and break. This is the fourth rack up two to one against Ryan Kelly. The winner is guaranteed at least third. The loser goes home with fourth place money and $80. <laughs> All right, here comes the break. He dances around. Every ball on the table goes. The cue ball dances around like it's Barishnikov. There is nothing greater than the action that we're seeing here unless I was playing in it. Here comes Jason Hancock. Looks like that one ball might go in the top right side. Yeah. And then he could use, possibly use the eight as a stop to leave for the six. So it's a matter of getting the lead for these three balls here. That is not the leave he was after right there. The only shot I even see. Is a carom off of the, the two ball. And that's a straight safety, folks. Give him distance. Actually, he can make this ten ball down on the bottom left-hand corner. Why do my ears hurt so bad? Oh, it's wearing glasses with these. I'm not used to wearing glasses and talking and playing and ah. Nobody's more frustrated than I am with my performance, but I tell you what, this tournament is a great tournament. Anybody who's a five or under will get great experience, battle like mad, and have a good time doing it. I, I did too. I thought that a lot of the matches went hill to hill. Every match except mine. 
God, I play terrible. I'm kind of surprised he's taking this. I didn't know if it goes through there or not. I guess it doesn't. That kind of opens up that one ball, which was kind of some trouble. Jason Hancock's going to have a pretty good look at this rack. Unless it's Ryan Kelly shooting. No, that's Jason. Boy, I think he's going to like that hit. If he takes the two, it's going to move the eight ball. So uh, you might want to come with a three back and try to get a better angle on that. But the uh, thing is, if he moves that eight ball, it acts as a stop shot. So it's going to allow the uh, three ball to be in pretty good shape here. I think he might have enough angle to come if he cheats the pocket of the bottom side. Come straight back over, get to six ball, come out to middle table somewhere. Might do two rails to get shape on this. Uh, there's one rail, there's two. I think he's going to really like that shape. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's going to put Jason Hancock on the hill. Assuming he makes that shot, and he does. That right there is a man who shoots with ice water in his veins. He's cooler than a bucket of sherbet, folks. You just can't keep Jason Hancock down for long. He just keeps battling. What? Ryan Kelly's got his hands full. It's a three to one lead with Jason. Oh, no, Jason is not breaking. I guess it's Ryan. All right, here comes Ryan Kelly. Coming up to the table, it is palpable. You can cut the tension with a knife. It is electric here at O'Brien Sports Bar and Grill. Unfortunately, the only ball I see that was made was Whitey. So. That's going to put Jason Hancock in control of the table on the hill to get to play Derek Ferranda. I see, I mean, getting shape of the 12 ball, if he can get past the two to get in the lower left-hand corner. That's something. I'm not sure if the 14 goes, but we're going to find out real quick that it does. Hey, he might be able to get that in the side from there. I don't know. I can't tell from this angle. It's plainly obvious I can't see anymore. <laughs> from the way I play, it's pretty obvious that I can't make a ball. All right, that puts Ryan Kelly back in here. He can get back in this match if he can get out. His balls are open. He does not have any real trouble ball here. Until now. He just found one, folks. We're going to have a little bit of swerve and curve on this one. He looks like he, he gets the monkey in the middle. I know, for that, it's just a baby, I thought. All right, that's got to be frustrating. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd probably go ahead and just take that. Uh... I will be shocked if he takes a combination here. 
That too must. Oh, he's just playing stripes. What am I talking about? God, it's amazing I've ever won a game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That right there is going to leave a mark. Only two balls left. He's got trouble with the one ball, blocking his ball. This is going to put uh, Ryan Kelly as the decided favorite on this uh, rack here. Right, Christopher asked, uh, who is the other two left in? That's Derek Ferranda and Dan Field, who's sitting next to me on my right. Kathy is saying that uh, she's uh, joined by Melanie Hickrod watching the, uh, the Hi, big Kathy. event here. Hi, and Bill Farinacci says, heart. So we've got an official viewing party. It looks like you can roll up here for the seven ball. Now it's just a matter of what he personally likes here. Oh, I guess he's got the one ball still. I didn't see that. So he'll probably draw back here off of the uh, side rail to get shape on that. The only problem with that is you have to make the ball when you get that shape. All right. He did. He's going to give himself some trouble. He's got a little bit of angle to come over. He might be able to get underneath it with some spin. This is not going to be an easy shot. So he's going to go ahead and do a cross face bank here. Or just make the ball and play safe. It's a risky shot. It might pay off. I think he might. I think he might find a safe back. Yeah, he's going to find a safe right back. Just soft roll that up into the seven. He's soft rolling it. Oh. I noticed while I was up there, by the way, the table does roll off a bit. So, but when you slow roll stuff on here, it makes you pay a little bit. I tell you what, I did safety right there, too. Break him out, get distance between them, make it so he's got to have the pressure on him. You're on the hill. Put your foot on his neck and keep the pressure on. All right, here comes the Landon Donovan kick. It was more like the Charlie Brown kick. He missed it. Lucy took it away from him on that one. And that's going to put Jason Hancock in a great spot. Ball in hand. Ball in hand with a three ball out. What in the... I'm really surprised at that choice of, uh, of, of uh, pattern there. But it's not too hard to come back off the end rail to come back for this eight ball. So Jason, like I said, is a very good ball maker. He doesn't have to worry about this shot. All right, he drains the eight ball. That's going to give the win to Jason Hancock versus Ryan Kelly. Congratulations, Ryan Kelly. You came in fourth place. You got $80 out of this tournament. Thank you for beating me and knocking me out out of the money. One out of the money. I appreciate that. And Jason Hancock, you are guaranteed at least third place. And up against Derek Ferranda, the person who put me into the uh, loser's bracket. Let me exchange the score sheet here. And there we go. The winner of this match goes on to play Dan Field. Dan Field only has to win one. The other person to get through, be it Derek Ferranda or Jason Hancock, has to win two matches against the unstoppable, the indefatigable, the unbelievable Dan Field.
All right, I want to recommend everybody still go ahead and share this. This is coming down to the champion.